Hello kids, in this tutorial we'll go through the basics of Scratch programming. So if you are already at the home page of Scratch programming, just click the start creating button and once you click it, you'll see that your new project will be created in a while. And on the new screen, you'll see three main things. On the left hand side of the window, you'll see a section for code and within the section of code, you'll see there are different items. We have an item for motion, we have an item for looks, we have it for sound and within each of these items we have different code blocks. Now you can drag these code blocks in the middle of the screen and once you run these code blocks all the action will happen on the right hand side of the screen. Our right hand side of the screen currently has one character which is cat and we also call these characters as sprite currently our sprite name is sprite one in our projects we can also add multiple sprites so if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen you can click choose a sprite and you can also add many sprites in your projects later on in your code uh, we can also add multiple backdrops so if you click choose a backdrop you can add multiple of them. Let me select the blue sky backdrop so we can add that in our project. And you can also drag your character directly on the screen. Now let's write a really simple program. In this program, what I want to do is if I click this green flag button, my cat should move forward for 10 steps or maybe 50 steps. So if I look under the events item, we can choose this when flag clicked and after that we can say that move 10 steps so now if i click this green flags button you'll see that my cat is moving forward but let's say i want to make it move forward quickly so rather than moving just 10 steps i can also move it 50 steps so now if I click this green button again, you'll see that it's going to move quite quickly. Also, we can have another block which will say that hello for two seconds. So by dragging this hello for two seconds, we'll see that once we run our program, our cat will say hello and it will say it for two seconds. So if I click this green button you'll see that my cat first moves forward 50 steps and then it also says hello uh, we can change this message as well so let's say I'll say welcome to class so if I now run the program again you can see that our message is different now you can keep exploring all these tabs and learn some basics and we will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.